Okay. We get a lot of questions uh, about ribbon wrinkle. What, what are the causes and what can you do to fix it? Uh, in most cases, a ribbon wrinkle is going to need a qualified technician to go ahead and take a look at the printer because it is almost always going to be a mechanical adjustment uh, to correct the problem. Uh, we're going to give you six things to go ahead and check and six ideas of what may cause ribbon wrinkle in your printer. Uh, the first of which is something that you can do as a user of the printer is check your media guide. Your media guide is located right here on this particular printer. Every printer's got one. You'll just need to locate where yours is located on your particular printer. What the media guide does is it keeps your media from walking back and forth uh, out of the media path. Uh, if your media ever walks out of the media path, it'll actually pull the ribbon with it. Uh, when it pulls the ribbon with it, it'll always cause a ribbon wrinkle. Uh, another thing that you can check on your printer just to get an idea uh, of what might be causing your ribbon wrinkle is if you look at your ribbon, if you look at mine, I'm nice and even all the way across my ribbon. If you were to walk up to one and one side or the other was loose while the other one was nice and tight, that would be a, a, a dead giveaway that you're going to have a ribbon wrinkle and that it's a mechanical adjustment that needs to be uh, that needs to happen to the printer to go ahead and correct that. Uh, several ideas of what could cause that type of uh, uh, affecting your printer is going to be print head alignment, which needs to be performed by a qualified thermal technician. One thing that you can check as a user is going to be your print head pressure. In my particular printer here, there are these two purple knobs on top of the print head. Uh, most printers have a pressure adjustment. You'll just need to simply check on your printer to find out exactly how to make that adjustment. Making that adjustment will even out the pressure all the way across the print head and hopefully prevent ribbon wrinkle. Another thing that you can check is, uh, another thing that can cause ribbon wrinkle is spindle tension. Uh, one common misconception about the thermal printer is that the ribbon take-up spindle, which is up here, is actually what pulls the ribbon through the printer. That's not what happens. The ribbon sticks, so to speak, to the media, and as the media feeds through the printer, that's what pulls the ribbon through. Your ribbon uh, take-up spindle here is simply just to take up the used uh, ribbon so that it doesn't roll out onto the floor. Uh, so if your ribbon supply is too tight or your ribbon take up is too tight, they'll cause a whole uh, wealth of problems. They can also cause problems other than ribbon wrinkle including uh, dragging ribbon which will give you a, a poor edge definition and uh, a gray print all the way across your label. Uh, one last thing that we want to touch on real quick just to make sure that uh, you understand is printer abuse. Uh, one common thing that we see end users doing is picking up their printer and carrying their printer with the spindles. If you carry your printer with the spindle, what will happen is it will bend the frame and it will also bend the spindle inside the take-up spindle or the supply spindle, whichever one you happen to be carrying it by. And when it bends like that, it's always going to cause a ribbon wrinkle because now instead of turning nice and round, you get this oblong wobble effect in your spindles. So those are uh, six quick guidelines, uh, six little things to look for in your printer as far as ribbon wrinkle. Uh, and if you need any help beyond what you've seen here, um, please contact your distributor and set up a service call so an authorized service technician can take a look at your printer.